So today we're going to be going over basic hand tools that you're going to be using while working on the roof. First you've got a hammer, a ruler, your set square, you've got your reds and greens, your thick set. You can also get thins but prefer those. Gilbos, cutting sheets, a rivet gun, tape measure, pliers, folders, knife, carpenter's pencil and a chalk line. This is my preference which is a an S-Wing as well, and it's got a nice hook to it, and it's, what have we got here, 20 ounces, nice and light. The, the trick with having all your tools as well, you're going to be carrying all this shit, so you want to minimise the amount of weight that you've got. But then you've got, say for example, this is more preferable, you want to get a small rivet gun. This here is the king, really, when it comes to tools for a roofer, and that is your ruler. The set square is, um, this is very handy, it's really good for, um, Measure, getting detailed into your flashing work or you want to measure down exactly 120 and put screws in your barge. So these are whisks and they're, these are a thinner, a thinner um, pair of snips and you can get in really tight, get really very detailed work going with these. But um, yeah, these, I prefer these because I can get real detailed. They're a bit slower though because you can't force your cut. Whereas these, you can, you can bully the metal around a bit. And, um, the gill bows are old school, you know, you're probably not going to see many people use these, just the old boys. Tape, right. the fat max. Now, where's my one here? You want, this is, a, this is super critical for the apprentices, right? You guys have to get millimeter. Do not get these inch one side, uh, millimeter the other side, because you're going to stuff up. This, so you want to get a millimeter. This is. This one's good for on the roof because it's got like a real low nose on it. So you can kind of get it into tight places. This is your nose here. These can be duck bills or your folders. So this is just used for flashing work. Pretty much this is essential to have. You kind of can't do any flashing work without this. Um, yeah, any bending up, bending down, duck bills is the king. Or folders is the king. Uh, you can adjust the, dip, the um, tightness of it. But you're pretty much just going to have it set to a point where it works well with your metal. You need a big fat knife with uh, roofing because you need to, one, you want to cut your wool, uh, which is very thick, and two, you're going to be a lot of times you're cleaning silicon from under a flashing. Uh, very essential. You can use it. This is mainly used for screwing off your roof. Uh, but if you're doing flashing work where you want to have a tapering edge, you want it tapering down from say 200 to 80, you want to put this on and ping it. The old classic, which nobody seems to have on them, everybody's asking where's my pencil, where's my pen, is the carpenter's pencil. Now I prefer this type of pencil to a, a pen. Um, yeah, I got a pen. It's got a little pen in here, which is very good for doing detailed work and if you're doing it on your flashing, which is generally covered in a, a plastic laminate. As an apprentice, like these are kind of what we expect you to have in your belt. 